So basically the last two and a half years, this campaign has been gradually building up. Um, we've, been, we've been negotiating with the uni with not much response. We've kind of played by the rules, going to different events, trying to stay quite casual and light, not doing anything in their face. Uh, we were invited to an investment committee meeting and we had everything ready to go. We were really excited to finally have our say, um, doing things differently, not taking a, a protest approach, but more working with the university. And at the last minute, they cancelled us from attending that meeting. Our efforts to negotiate, to have forums and to, to build that idea up, um, we were talking to a brick wall for most of that time, so that's why it escalated to um, occupying the, the offices the way we have. So we decided to sit in in the office and we were there for two, two weeks and one day um, demanding an answer from the university and also asking them to commit to divesting from fossil fuels before the Paris Climate Summit. When we started it we thought we might be um, in there for hours to maybe a day or two. Um, however, for some reason the university had kind of just let it slide a bit and um, we've ended up being there for quite some time. We thought that when we first went in there would be a response to try and move us on straight away so we were expecting to be out of the building within 24 hours. We've been living in this building here for the past 15 days now um, which is weird to live in an admin building. It was really difficult but I think it hasn't quite sunk in that we just sat in someone's office for 15 days. Yeah, but it's been a long, a long time and um, obviously with exam stress for a lot of students. It's a shame that this has happened at this time when everyone or half of us is studying and the other half are trying to commit to jobs. Pretty much um, pushed everything to the back in order for this to happen, um, which has been challenging. But we soon realised that this is actually the most important thing that we could be doing right now. Um, whilst we also are quite stressed out with exams, I think we had a really core bunch of people that are good friends as well. They were able to support each other completely through collective care and making sure that everyone was okay, everyone was getting what they needed. The community support and the um, support of friends has really um, given me a lot of hope. At the point where people were starting to feel low about the campaign, a bit hopeless. There'd always be someone to come in and say what we needed to hear. From the sit-in, the overwhelming amount of people that have jumped on this campaign has been mind-blowing. Just like incredible to see the amount of support that we've received. We've had this community outpouring of food and, and resources to help us get by, um, which has been really great. The power of our group going in actually um, sort of catalyzed a big group of support. Every single divestment group in the country is looking at us right now and some of them have even started their own sit-ins. So. People know about us now, which is really great. Um, as far as the bureaucratic uh, negotiations, that'll continue and our relationship with the uni is strengthening. I believe this uh, occupation is, is an enormous success because we've drawn attention to the fact that university is investing in fossil fuels. So what was just a, a handful of people before trying to hold the university to account is now thousands of people. The 15 day sit-in achieved everything we wanted to do. We wanted the university to listen, we wanted international media, we wanted national attention, we wanted other campaigns to spark from this, we wanted support and we've got that. Our campaign group has probably quadrupled in size. As much as it's been it's like a really successful action being here for 15 days. I think I'm more excited to get out into the real world and just put all my effort into trying to get people involved and pulling that support network that we've had for the past 15 days and, and just running with it. Going into the future now, we can uh, really hope to see some massive changes in the university and we're, we're starting those talks. The most important thing in terms of the university um, commitment uh, to divestment yeah, will be in the meeting room. We've been in contact in multiple ways uh, since being here with the Vice-Chancellor and Chancellor. Not as much as we would have liked, but we can now hope that we will um, actually have some meaning, meaningful conversations. Henceforth, we're going to be having meetings with them, which they've actually promised will actually go somewhere. For me, um, society um, is about um, communication and um, 
engagement, being involved. We are part of the university community. We want the university to improve on this and do what is right. You need to be a part of the process. Um, you can't just step away from it and um, say, oh, I disagree with this, so I'm moving away from it. You have to take measures to do that slowly. You have to engage with people and say that you're upset, say that you are disappointed in the institution for investing in fossil fuels. It's not economically viable or environmentally sustainable to be investing in something that isn't a renewable resource. It just doesn't make sense. And for an institution that prides itself on being world-renowned on climate change research, it's hypocritical to be investing in those very organisations and corporations that are making climate change occur. If we are investing in fossil fuels, that means that this is basically allowing for the process of um, climate change to be accepted. As a student, with my money going towards UTAS for my degree, I don't want to be supporting the fossil fuel industry at all. We want to be a part of a university that is showing leadership in the community, um, leadership in Australia on climate change issues. If they move forward in um, this positive way by actually taking one of the first actions in Australia, um, they could really show themselves to be um, not only an Australian leader, but a, a global leader as well. From this, I've, I've gathered so much hope because of the population uh, around the university has become so much more exposed to the issue of divestment. You can't be any more hopeful like with the amount of support that we've had and people are looking up to us now and I think that we should just try our best, encourage each other and stand strong together. I'm really inspired by all of the support within the group as well and to have that to have that base to work with now I just feel a lot more hopeful than I did coming into the building. We understand as students that not everybody has the capacity to sit in an office for 15 days but when joining a campaign group there is a job for everyone. There's there's a supporter, there's people that are just doing media, there's someone in the library that's constantly looking out for us. Um, we understand everyone has a different capacity but this campaign is a really great one to jump on um, and you can just start by following us on social media by sharing our posts and talking to your friends about it um, and also just vocally showing your support, taking five minutes of your day to call the Vice-Chancellor's office um, and let them know that you support divestment or signing our open letter um, which is all online. It's the best way you can support us because um, your university institution should be investing in your future.